On July 11th, a part of me died. And right now, I'm going to be 50 next year. And I feel it's time to hang it up and forget everything called entertainment. But when I see these guys here, I thank you, the whole of Nigeria. I thank you for Nigerians in diaspora. I thank you. A young man came up in New York. He said his name was Tunde. His name is Tunde Oshofison. He's an angel. He was there for my brother. Like every other person was there for Sam Sultan. We really appreciate you and we say thank you to you. But Sam Sultan, being the kind of person that he is, that he was, he already sent a thank you message to everybody. And the message is right here. And allow me to share this message with you. Even before he died, he shared this message. He shared with me and he told me thank you and he says thank you to all his friends everybody in the country the musicians the press people Eddie Lawani Innocent Dibia Tunde Oshofison Idris Aisha all of you that came true for some of time. I can only say thank you. And I think Mayowa has something to say too. Hello everybody, my name is Mayowa Patasi. My daddy was a good man for my dad. I really loved him. Also my sister and my brother. He always took care of us. He always didn't want to get angry in front of us. Every time he was always nice to everybody. He would always spend his money for good things, not bad things. He was always a nice man. He never he never said anything bad to me. He was always nice. If I did anything wrong, he would always correct me. Thank you, Daddy. But you show rest in peace. Ladies and gentlemen, please, in this light, I just want to say something. Since Sam Sultan was a man of peace, I want to beg everybody. I don't know if this is the best opportunity, but I'll call Eddie Lawani too to come and help me do this. Peter and Paul Okoye, I never met you guys. Sam Sultan was emceeing a show when he came back to tell me that I met these boys, Peter and Paul, they are wonderful, they are this, they are that, and I became their fan. And we've been nothing but love for you guys. I beg you, I beg you in the name of your father and your mother, and Jude as well, I beg you guys. You all need to come together and bury this because the time is very, very limited.
A lot of things have been said about um, sound sorter this evening. And um, the, the summary of everything is Sultan was a great guy. He was an amazing human being, inside and outside. He cared deeply about everyone. He was genuine on, on many levels. Um, he was funny. He always made people feel good around him. I remember when he called me on a video call, um, and I saw I saw he was he was in the hospital, you know, and he was just showing me around. I couldn't process, and because I've asked him ten questions in five seconds, like what's going on? In fact, I thought it was a video shoot. I thought it was a set. Like, ah, guy, what are you doing again? You know. Then he flipped the video and showed me his face. And when I saw him, I broke down. Uh, but you see, the thing about him is, even up until the point of death, Sound Sultan was still he was still living his life about others. I remember even in the hospital bed, he would send me songs that he had written for his artist or for her name is Angelica. You know, he would send me songs and say, ah, please help me do this, help me do that. And I wasn't finding it funny because in my mind I'm like, guy, sure, all right. You need to get well first, you know. But I then realized that this was actually the fuel that was actually fueling him and making him feel happy every day. And I remember all of the songs that I worked on, I sent it to him. And he sent me a voice note and said, ah, she was she no more by she okay, we should machine we should to 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 make sense by. And I started laughing, and in my mind I'm like, this guy, you're going through so much pain, you're going through a lot. And you still have the strength in you to make me feel good as a human being. He was an amazing guy. I would miss every moment. I think one of the things that I have not been able to process in the past few weeks is the fact that there's no more sound so time. You know, I, I tell myself that our industry vampire is dead. <laughs> you know, um, it's really difficult, but. I take solace in the fact that he lived a good life. He lived a very, 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 very impactful life. Uh, I take solace in the fact that he was very exam exemplary. You, um, he has shown us that it is possible to live right, it's possible to live well, it's possible to be selfless, it's possible to be a good person. We live in a, we operate within an industry where um, everybody seems to have an opinion about the other person, but I have never heard Sultan say anything evil about anybody before. I have known him now for, well, maybe over 10 years now and about that, you know, I have never. In fact, sometimes when we're in gatherings and people bring up conversations, you know, that leads to talking about somebody, he would just laugh, he would say, ah, left, 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 you know, I don't know, you know. Um, I think for everyone here, there's so much to learn from this man. Um, sometimes we live our lives as though we have control over it. You know, I was telling someone recently that, you know, we have conversations like, ah, I will see you tomorrow. We're so used to sleeping and waking up that we think it's normal. And because of that, we are not aware. I feel like Sam Sultan was aware of his life every single day. He lived his life as though it was the last. Every single day he lived it as though that was the last. And um, I am super grateful to have met him. I am super grateful to have seen... You know, my religion tells me that God came to earth as in, in human form, and that was Jesus Christ. I didn't meet Jesus Christ. I only read of him, I still read of him. But Sultan, I can say very comfortably that Sultan was my own Jesus Christ. Because I saw it, I felt it, and it was real on many levels. Sultan was everybody's guy. The way he was my guy, he was everybody's guy. You know, there were people that I saw with Sultan that even me, I questioned him. I'm like, guy, what are you doing with this guy? He would say, I feel it, 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 feel